Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Everton up against Fulham. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Number 17, Alexi Wobi. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Connor Cody plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. Alex Iwobi starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Thank you for attending Goodison Park. Enjoy the game. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. Idrissa Gay. Connor Cody now. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Losing possession a bit easily. Chance to do damage. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Cody. On to Tarkovsky. Connor Cody now. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide, and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. Gives it a go! And a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Pereira tremendous intuition to win it back Onana Kebano has it and support available takes it on well what an opportunity squandered far too easy for the keeper Nathan Patterson Idrissa Gay. Iwobi. Mikolenko. Cody. Gordon. Connor Cody now. Idrissa Gay. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can... Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that!
So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Palinha. Pereira. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Oh, good work by the keeper. And the short option preferred. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So the game is restarted and Everton really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Showing a lot of guile there. He can't hold on to it. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Calvert-Lewin. Here's Tarkovsky. Mikolenko. Well, as you can see, Everton have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. And no way to sugarcoat that one, Stuart. Well, sometimes it's worth having a shot from distance, but he never really set himself to hit that cleanly. Tosin Adarabayo. Palinha. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Plenty of support here. Can he finish? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And played short. Giving it a try. Well, time is up as far as the first half is concerned here on Merseyside. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire. Full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. So back underway here, into the second half. Options in the middle. Gray. Calvert Lewin. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one.
Gray. It's got to be. And there it is. Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Bobby Reid and the cross into the middle and blocked for now He's showing a real will to win the ball happy birthday to Nathan Walker celebrating his birthday today Pereira let's fly here well, the keeper had to concentrate. And they will make the change now. Well, they fancy a short one. Dan James. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Coming off the pitch, number 14, Bobby Reid, to be replaced by... Number 20, William. Well, opting for the short corner. And the cross goes in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Pereira. Can he make it count? Still alive. And a play and a Fulham throw in forthcoming. Tete. And now William coming into it. Now let's see about the cross. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Teammates available. And William whips it in. Well, nothing productive, really. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. And a tidy tackle. Mitrovic. He's in here. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. And snuffing out the danger. Can he convert? Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, the minutes are ticking away, Stuart, and Everton have been utterly dominant. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Well, a harmless effort when all is said and done. For Everton, coming off the pitch, number nine, Dominic Kajit-Lewin. Coming onto the pitch, number 20, Neil Mopay. Idrissa Gay. Gray now. Mope. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And we've entered the final five minutes. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Adarabayo. 
Mope. Can he put it away? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Promising looking attack. And Willian had a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And now the delivery. Well, last line of defence, literally. The corner kicks keep on coming. So the corner played into the box. Well, there goes the final whistle and an Everton victory. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.